Well, once you see me pulling these little babies out, you guys know we're cooking with the Instant Pot today. So if you've been here a while, you know that I love sharing Instant Pot recipes. I've been sharing them for almost three years. When I asked you what you really wanted, it always comes back to easy recipes in the Instant Pot. Now I've been getting a lot of requests not to do chicken. So that's what we're making today. We are making five recipes that there is no chicken and I'm excited to share them with you. I'm making all kinds of stuff. So make sure you stick around. The first recipe I'm making is called Instant Pot Sloppy Joes. You're gonna love this one. You're first gonna start by pushing the saute button. Once it's warm, you're gonna add one tablespoon of butter. You're just gonna let it melt in there. Next, you're gonna add just one pound of ground beef. You can also use ground turkey if you want to. We're using ground beef today. And just start separating your meat. On top of that, you're gonna add one red pepper, about a half of a red onion, and just go ahead and mix that all together. Now, you're not gonna cook this all the way through, but just a little bit until your meat is brown. Now, even though it's not cooked through, you can drain your grease right now. Okay, you're gonna push off and then we're going to add the sauce. Now down below in the description, this is a homemade sauce. You can find that recipe there. Then we're going to mix this all together. There's enough liquid in there that it should be able to pressurize. So we're gonna put your lid on. You're gonna turn that little knob to sealing. You're gonna push pressure cook, and then we're just gonna cook this. So finish cooking the meat at eight minutes. When it's done, go ahead and let the pressure out and your beef should be done and it should be well combined. Those vegetables will be nice and cooked all together. I love serving this on buns. You can add it with, of course, chips or a side salad. This next recipe is a perfect side dish to the Sloppy Joes. It's my garlic Parmesan spaghetti squash. I love spaghetti squash and I love cooking in the Instant Pot because it only cooks for hmm, seven minutes. All right, we're gonna start with the spaghetti squash. Now, I like cutting this in half. It's a little harder than it looks, so sharp knife is my suggestion. Now go ahead and pull out the seeds. You can leave them in there to cook, but I like to pull them out beforehand just so they're not cooking with it. Then you're going to put these in your Instant Pot. Now, you can cook them facing each other. You can cook them facing apart. However they'll fit in there, that's what you wanna do. Now make sure you add one cup of water, put the lid on, turn that little knob to ceiling, push pressure cook, and then like I said, seven minutes. When it's done, go ahead and let all the pressure out and you can open your lid and go ahead and remove the squash from the Instant Pot very carefully. Now it will be really cooked, so sometimes it's a little slippery. Then I like to take a fork and just scrape out all the good stuff. Next, you're gonna push the saute button. Make sure you dump out the water you're gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil, add about two teaspoons of garlic, and then your spaghetti squash. And we're just gonna cook this all together. While that's cooking, you're gonna add a half cup of, we call it shaky cheese, but it's like the finely grated Parmesan cheese, and just cook it, mix it all together until it's well combined. And then I just add a little bit more Parmesan cheese on top. Now if you're looking for a very fast and inexpensive recipe, baked potatoes is the way to go in the Instant Pot. All right, you're first gonna start by putting one cup of water into the bottom of your Instant Pot. Then I like to put a trivet down. If you don't have one, you don't actually have to use one. Then I made sure I washed my potatoes really good. I like to stab one, them with a fork so they don't explode, but you don't have to. You can add as many as you want, but these ones are about medium size. So we're gonna turn our little knob to ceiling and then we're going to cook them for about 12 minutes. When it's done, you can release the pressure and then open it up. If you want to let them release on its own, you can do that also. Go ahead and open your lid. Now, this is my mom's a new chili that she's trying. So we're having baked potatoes with chili and I like to add a little cheese on top. The next recipe is Instant Pot Salmon and Potatoes, both at the same time. This is one of my favorites. Okay, we're gonna start by adding three or four pounds of potatoes that are all chopped up into small pieces into the bottom of the Instant Pot. Now, I forgot to show I added one cup of water before I added my trivet. Then on top of that, I added some foil. You couldn't put your fish on the trivet, but it's kind of sticky. So foil, then my salmon, then your favorite fish seasonings. 
then when you're done, you're going to go ahead and put your lid on. Make sure that that little knob is turned to C-Link if you have a knob. And then you're going to push the pressure cook button. We're going to go down to just three minutes. Now when it's done, you're going to let it sit in there for about five minutes before turning that knob. That will make your salmon perfect. Okay, so now it's time to get that salmon out. So be really careful as you pull it out. I pulled it out with the trivet also because I want to add a little bit more to my potatoes. So we're going to add about two tablespoons of butter, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then just go ahead and start mixing that up. I like to use a potato masher. It makes your life just a little bit easier. You can also use beaters to make it super creamy if you want. You can add a little bit of milk, but I like it just with the butter, salt, and pepper. Add it with your salmon. It's good. Okay, I'll be honest, a lot of you have been asking for pork chops in the Instant Pot. I don't love pork chops, but I did really like this recipe. This is our Instant Pot pork chops with honey garlic sauce. You're going to start by adding a third cup of low sodium soy sauce. Then add one third cup of honey and about two tablespoons of either tomato paste or ketchup, whatever one works. I'm using ketchup today. Then also to this, you're going to add one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and two teaspoons of sweet chili sauce. This is optional, but I'm telling you, it's really good with the sweet chili sauce. All right, now on to the pork chops. Here is the secret when cooking pork chops in the Instant Pot. You want to make sure they are thick. We're talking like an inch thick. You're going to add pepper to them, not salt, just pepper. Then we're gonna push saute, add about a tablespoon of oil, Make wait until it's hot, and you're gonna sear it for about one to two minutes on each side. You don't wanna do any more because we don't wanna overcook the pork chops. All right, when you've seared all the pork chops, go ahead and put them to the side. Now we're gonna push cancel, and we're gonna throw in just a little bit of garlic, about four cloves of garlic to the bottom of that really hot pot. Then we're gonna add the delicious honey soy sauce mixture into the pot. Now scrape the bottom because we don't want anything to burn right now. Then you're gonna go ahead and put all the pork chops back in. Go ahead and put your lid on. Make sure that little knob is turned to sealing. You're gonna push the pressure cook button and we're only cooking this for one minute. When it's done, you can let it release on its own for about three minutes. Then go ahead and take the lid off. All right, when it's all done, you're gonna go ahead and remove the pork chops then you're gonna mix one tablespoon of cornstarch with one tablespoon of water to thicken up the sauce. So once the sauce is as thick as you want it, you pour it over your pork chops and it's ready to serve. Now if you want more easy Instant Pot recipes, you can find my top 10 right up there. All right guys, I'll see you later.